Hi everyone. There was a deadly bridge collapse in China on August 22nd in the early morning hours around 3 a.m. I'm recording this video on August 24th. There were a total of at least 12 people killed, four missing uh, workers who were on the bridge at the time. I'm going to go over what's known and go over the likely causes or potential causes for this deadly bridge collapse. So this is a double track railroad bridge. It crosses about a mile span of the Yellow River in Qinghai province to connect Chengdu with Xinying, China. The arch is about 426 feet above the Yellow River. It's been described as the world's largest span double track railway bridge. It's a continuous steel truss arch bridge with two cable tower frames that stood over 300 feet tall. And these frames were used to support the bridge during final erection. Let's look at some of this footage. It appears that these support cables snapped, which led to a cascade failure, dropping the center portion of the span into the river over 400 feet below. So of course, with a China construction disaster, you have to suspect the usual factors, uh, potential design errors, potential inadequate materials or deficiencies in the materials. In this case, there's suspicion around the quality of these steel cables. Were they too old? Were they of sufficient strength? And so on. And of course you have potential for errors in means and methods used to perform this work. The fact that it's a China railway project could indicate that all these factors were involved to some degree, just like the China Railway Number no. 10 company was involved with the disastrous office tower collapse in Bangkok, Thailand on March 28th, 2025, that killed 92 workers. But these are massive projects, and in China, they tie a lot of national pride to completing such projects. So a lot of times there's a rush to get these completed to coincide with major Communist Party milestones. It's been reported that the construction of this bridge was behind schedule. The fact that they were working at night doesn't mean that that was part of the issue. They were probably working at night to have better control of alignment of these span sections with uh, lower differential temperatures at night versus daytime. But a massive structure here. And it's just a shame that these kind of problems just happen so frequently with China-owned or China-managed projects. Here's some footage of that uh, office tower collapse in Bangkok, Thailand. There have been charges filed by Thai authorities against the lead Chinese official associated with this project, alleging corruption, falsification of project documents, and the list goes on and on. So it's unfortunate to see disasters like this during construction or at any time really involving a major bridge project. People could say, well, in the United States, they had several bridge deaths associated with major bridge projects like the Golden Gate Bridge, I think, had a, a dozen worker deaths. Same with the George Washington Bridge in New York. Those projects were constructed in the 20s and 30s almost 100 years ago, when safety standards were a lot lower. And of course, those deaths occurred in an isolated fashion. Uh, they didn't occur all at once as this happened with China. So something seriously wrong with the construction culture, I think, in China. You know, a lot of people refer to it as, as tofu drag. I think it's, it encompasses so many factors and it's just unfortunate. Well, I'll continue to update this story as new information becomes available. With that, I want to send a shout out to those of you who've contributed to buy me a coffee. That's a great way to support this channel. I also want to thank those of you who are channel members and those of you who have provided super thanks, additional great ways to support this channel. Thanks very much, everyone.